Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. Happy midnight's release day. These vlogs are filmed a little bit in advance. It's like probably a week later at this point, but today, the day I'm filming this, is the day that midnight's came out. Also like more surprise songs at 3 a.m. We'll talk about it later, but in the meantime, it's 8.24 in the morning. I have just gotten dressed and I'm going to the pumpkin patch with Alexa and Karina. It's gonna be so fun. We're going to one in Orange County that I've never been to before. I'll show you a little bit of my outfit, but I kind of have to go. <laughs> Typical ADHD, time blindness, running late, but it's fine. Layla is not in fact dead behind me. Um, it just looks like it. So anyways, <laughs> I'm wearing this thrifted shirt. I actually thrifted this when I was with Alexa and it's pretty hot today. So I'm like giving the illusion of fall, but also like staying cool, you know? So this cute little like gingham, it's like a burnt orange and black print and then my thrifted kind of like slinky maxi skirt my doc martin oxfords and then i have like a cute little velvet ribbon in my hair i don't know I'm kind of feeling the look i was kind of inspired by the anti-hero music video this like sort of voluminous low ponytail so anyways let's head to the pumpkin patch and be basic girlies love it I'm in a little bit of traffic, so I thought I would share my midnight's thoughts because holy shit, <laughs> I've only listened. Okay, I'm not gonna include the bonus tracks because, or the the you know additional like 3 a.m. version because I've only listened to each of those one time through um, because I woke up this morning and saw that that had happened. So I'm gonna just talk about like the 13 midnight's tracks, like on the original album. <laughs> I just listened to it for the second time through and I'm just like, oh my God. Upon first listen, I was kind of like, okay. Like I was sort of just sussing it out. Sorry about the lighting. And I was like, hmm, you're just in shock. Like, I mean, I saw a tweet and it was literally the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life because I've never seen anything more accurate. And it's like, some people go to listening parties and like bake chai cookies and listen to new Taylor Swift albums together. And some people are like straight up 11 Stranger Things style deprivation tanks. And that's literally what I do. Like I had my noise canceling headphones on. Just so funny. And I was literally in my dark room with my little skylight on. But anyways, this is how I've done it for like every, I mean, every Taylor Swift album since literally like speak now i've done that anyways so my thoughts are this album is really really good this album does have like hints of lover hints of 1989 hints of reputation and i love it even hints of like folklore and evermore in like the production especially on the bonus tracks with aaron desner um obviously like a lot of like they have a signature sound together the two of them so a lot of that stuff to me like kind of is reminiscent there's one song in particular and i can't remember which bonus track it is right now i don't know if it's the great war I can't remember, but it's very like renegade vibes to me, like similar guitar sounds and like very like to me, Taylor and Aaron together. But oh my God, I love the original tracks so much. Keep in mind, I've listened to each of these twice, so these will change. But oh, my favorites so far, Antihero, Mastermind is so fucking good, Sweet Nothing. <laughs> I literally could start crying right now. Sweet nothing. I'm literally, I have tears in my eyes. It's the most beautiful, like sweet, simple, delicate, gentle love song. It's so tender. Oh, I love it so much. I literally like exclaimed out loud in the car when I was listening to it. I was like, ah, you're on your own kid made me cry. Um, like I literally have had tears in my eyes and chills on my body for the last 45 minutes. Um, it's so good, it's so good. I would say, oh, okay, sorry, my other favorites. I'm getting ahead of myself. Karma is one of my favorites. So if I had to pick like my top five, it would be Antihero, Karma, Mastermind, Sweet Nothing, and I guess you're on your own, kid, it has to be. But there are just so many gems, like, and 
god, I love Jack Antonoff. If you've been watching my vlog channel for a while, Jack Antonoff has been like a favorite of mine since, I mean, probably 2013, 2014. I've been a fan since fun and was also a huge, and am a huge Bleachers fan. Bleachers is like one of me and Drew's bands. Like that's like our thing. We've seen them a bunch of times together. Like we've gone for like anniversaries. Anyways, just all that to say, I'm just such a Jack Antonoff fan as it is. So, so to get like a pretty much dedicated Jack Antonoff album is like more than my sweetheart can process. I'm just so happy. Like I literally love it so much. The production on some of these fucking songs, I'm like, are you joking? I think it's Maroon. There's one or two others that are very like dress, the song Dress from Reputation and also the I Don't Wanna Live Forever, Fifty Shades of Grey song as well. Like I can hear hints of that in a few different songs. But like, oh my God, the production on Labyrinth, on Mastermind, on You're On Your Own Kid, on Maroon, on Bejeweled. Bejeweled is like a magical fantasy. Like I love it so much. It's like driving through a tunnel of fucking diamonds, honestly. Like I just, oh, there's so many thoughts. These are obviously all off the top of my head. I didn't like write anything down. Um, I'm not like a professional Taylor Swift YouTuber. I love that for those people, but I am just genuinely like a diehard fan who has been a diehard fan since 2006. I was freaking 18 years old when I became a Taylor Swift fan and I'm 34 now. And like, I feel like we've grown up together in like every phase of life for every album that's been released. I've been able to relate to it so deeply and like, ugh. What an incredible album. I can't wait to listen more. Like this is just so exciting. It's so exciting to have these new songs that I don't know like the back of my hand yet. Like it's so funny how this always happens. Like these are just songs that I didn't know existed before last night. Anyway, I probably talked for too long about that. I'm on my way to the pumpkin patch. I'm like seven minutes away. I'm gonna spend the last seven minutes of this drive listening to some of the extra tracks and uh, we'll carry on with our day, but wow. What a fucking beautiful day to be a Taylor Swift fan. She's done it again. God, I love her. Yes. <laughs> Gorgeous. The girlies. Yes, so sweaty. Oh my God. I won't lie to you, it's freaking hot out here. I don't know how long we're gonna last, but we're gonna give it our best. We gotta do it for the basic girlies. To continue with this very celebratory basic day, we are going to Starbucks. <laughs> and I'm getting a PSL, and no one can stop me. We left Starbucks, and now we've made it our way to Veggie Grill. Karina and I did get a, a, wine, a midday wine. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little one. Just a little hyper. A little basic. Mi vino, it says. It is mi vino. Mi vino. <laughs> yes, beautiful. I don't think I've been here since like probably 2019, and it feels so good to be back. Like Karina and I were just saying like, you just love a good old American, like, like Southern Californian mm -hmm. outdoor shopping center. Mm -hmm. Like I could spend all day here. Mm -hmm. I could go to Ulta. I could go to Kona Grill. What is that? <laughs> the movie. Muna Grill. Muna Grill. <laughs> yeah, it's like you could do so many different things. We might actually might do a little bit of Ulta after this, so yeah. we'll see. Many hours later. Okay, it's a while later. I'm heading home. I I'm actually like 20 minutes or so away from home. Such a great day with Alexa and Karina. Always love spending time with them. So much fun, but I'm listening to obviously Midnight's again on the drive home and I'm like voice texting Alexa, like my thoughts and you know, her husband is a big Taylor Swift fan. So we've been sharing our favorites and stuff. And I realized that I missed a couple of things. Like now that I'm listening, I'm like, oh, I forgot to say that earlier. So I just wanted to leave like a couple more notes. If Taylor Swift isn't your favorite, I'm so sorry. Like maybe the next vlog will be for you. But the other couple things that I forgot to say was that snow on the beach to me, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It, it, right away, I've only listened to it like three or four times, but it's a skip for me. I'm sorry. I like the concept and I like the song, but I think the thing that I've kind of figured out is that to me, snow on the beach has like Coney Island vibes and Coney Island is like my least favorite song on Evermore. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Even though the snow on the beach, like the meaning of the song is completely different from 
Coney Island. Like it has a similar production to me or just a similar like vibe. Do you know what I'm saying? That like kind of dark vibe and like it's just not, it's my least favorite I would say so far. So that was what I compared like like snow on the beach to me is like the happy Coney Island. Does that make sense? I don't know. And then vigilante shit, which I'm just now listening to, is so good. It's so different and so unique. And I feel like I hear some like maybe Billie Eilish influences in it, like to me anyways. But I'm gonna head home and we will catch up with you in a little bit. It's been such a fantastic day. And now Drew and I are gonna kick back, have an amazing weekend. And I'll catch up with you when I catch up with you. Good morning, everybody. It's actually a few days later. It is Tuesday now. It was Friday when I last left you. And we had a great weekend. It was very relaxing and nice. We got a lot of stuff done and we did a lot of nothing as well. So it was fantastic. And yesterday was a really busy day. I filmed all day long. I got my nails done with my friend Laura. I just did, actually, these are my natural nails now. So I switched from the Gel X to just like the dip powder. I'm kind of impressed with my nails. And then last night we went to dinner with Macy and her boyfriend Tyler and they brought their puppy Freddy over and oh my God, he's so cute. Oh, phone look who I found. Yeah, yeah I'm phone vlogging. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> look what I found. Look at him on my lap. A little Beverly Hills chihuahua. He came chihuahua. with the drinks. <laughs> Feels so good to meet my nephew Freddy. He did meet Layla. She was a little over Zealous, would you say? A little like, well, it was, excited. It was his first play I do believe it was one his day first they will have a play date. Oh, and she's just and I feel she'll excited be like, um, to like see another dog. I could see them like, but she, like, yeah, but she's a freaking she old lady. And yeah, yeah, she does get over it like super fast. Like, if you probably when you bring her back, she'll be like, oh, okay. Yeah, like, she doesn't care. But it was really cute well, seeing them meet. I want so Freddie the chocolate chip on top of it. And then they're here too. The boys are here. <laughs> and he's there. And he's there. <laughs> They're on a date and we're on a date. Cheers. 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 So that was a lovely, wholesome evening. And now I'm actually getting ready to head out. I have an appointment to go to. I've been doing a bunch of editing this morning. It's like just before 10 a.m. I have a bunch of editing to do when I get home, but I'm getting my brows redone. So I haven't had them done since I went to England and it shows. I have, if you if you want to see, <laughs> this is like naturally what my brows look like. They're just very light, very sparse. So I'm super excited because I loved the girl that I went to last time when I was here and she gets them done in like 30 minutes and you don't have to lay down, you just sit up in a chair. It's kind of iconic. Anyway, I'm just putting on a little bit of mascara. That's like literally all I'm doing. Oh, and also I'm using this product that I'd seen on Instagram like a few times, but actually Jasmine let me borrow some purse. Like she let me try it when I was in the UK and it's called the Sikapair Derma Green Solution Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. Um, and it's by Dr. Jart. And it's like this little tub of this green stuff and you put it on your face on like your red spots, which my biggest spot is like this rosacea thing right here. And it actually kind of makes a difference. Like it takes the edge off a bit. So went ahead with that and just gonna do a super quick mascara cause that's all I'm doing today. I'm gonna be wearing a mask and I'm getting my brows done. So like, why would I do anything else? And I thought I would take you along with me to run some errands. It makes it less lonely. I'm just gonna like brush these real quick cause they are kind of crazy. And then I'm literally just doing like a claw clip to my hair today because I cannot be bothered. That's pretty much it. That's my hairstyle for the day. That's all I have energy for. I am wearing my folklore merch. It's very confusing. I'm like still in folklore and evermore era, but I'm also still in lover era and I'm also still in reputation era, but now I'm also in midnight's era, but then I'm also in fearless Taylor's version era and red Taylor's version era and now speak now. Anyways, um, I haven't even had coffee yet today. And why would I say that I drink decaf? You know what I mean? I just have a lot of Taylor Swift energy so I'm gonna wear my merch today. I'm not even gonna show you an outfit of the day because I'm literally just wearing this and leggings and like Birkenstocks. All right, let's go out and have a little morning of errands. Me and my Stanley cup. I'm feeling so basic and exactly like other girls and it makes me very happy. So I actually have like literally four different places to go to drop off returns. I feel like this is just part of, it's like one of the annoying parts of my job is when I place orders, I often don't keep everything. So I literally have four different places I have to go to drop off returns, which is, you know, it's just 
part of life. But I have to go to the UPS store, which is the first place I'm going to right now to drop off some Amazon returns. And then I have to go to a Whole Foods to drop off some other Amazon returns because like only certain ones can be dropped off certain places. It's very confusing. And then after that, I need to go to the FedEx store because actually the people who lived in our apartment before us like still regularly get packages delivered to our house and we constantly have to send them back. So I was like, I could call and schedule a pickup, but a lot of times they don't come. So I was like, I'll just like stop by. It's on the way. So yeah, UPS store, Whole Foods, FedEx, and then the post office. So I literally have four places to go and it is now currently 10... 06 and my appointment's at 10 45 so i don't think we'll get it all done but we'll try to get like at least a couple done and then we can do some on the way back but yeah lots of packages first let's do the ups store all right i put a quarter in the meter and it was supposed to last for eight minutes and it's been like 45 seconds, but that's okay. Oh my God, I am so glad I checked. There actually is a post office like 200 feet away. So I am going to quickly screenshot because whenever they give you the QR code and then you're in line and you're trying to pull it up, it never works. So I'm just gonna pull that up now, take a screenshot. Wow, and I'm gonna get two errands out of my quarter in the meter, I'm so excited. I was so clutch. I literally got both of those things done in like less than five minutes, iconic. And now I'm at the FedEx store, gonna drop off FedEx. I don't think I'm gonna have enough time unless I like hap, no, I'm not gonna push it. So I'll do this one, I'll drop off and then let's go get our brows done. I got here a few minutes early, so I'm gonna stop by that same coffee shop that I went to before. And the sweet and lovely Lindsay Rem actually saw my last vlog where I went to this coffee shop called Andante, and she said they have a really good lavender latte, so I think I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna pop in there, get my coffee, and then get these brows sorted. Oh my goodness. So here is the before, and I will see you very soon with some hopefully much better looking brows. Oh, so much better. Ignore how red, my skin gets so red when I get my brows done, but look at that. Mm, that was lovely. And now we're gonna make our last stop at the Whole Foods, <laughs> drop off the last package, and then I'm gonna head home and put my head down and like really crank out some editing. Cause I forgot to mention this, but actually tomorrow Drew's family is coming to visit. So his mom, his sister and her two daughters. So Drew's two nieces are gonna be coming and staying with us for like three or four days. So we have a lot to do before they get here. And I have a lot of work to get done cause I'm taking a few days off. So anyways, all right, last errand of the day, let's do it. 